Hey guys, it's Core Ross and welcome to Six News. Today we're going to go over the cinematic trailer that dropped for Outbreak, which is coming in Operation Chimera for Rainbow Six Siege. So this starts with a ominous red Ubisoft logo. It then goes into some handheld video photography of something crashing, which of course we get to see later in the trailer. Now, I'm guessing this might actually be the guy that goes and recovers this and then sticks it in his barn later. We get the Rainbow Six Siege Presents, and then we get the Barn Doors. Now, there are some interesting number plates to the top right with a lot of numbers. I expect they can probably be decoded into something, or at least have some sort of relevance in Rainbow. And you'll also notice that the Barn Doors are going from red to blue, because whoever has pulled up here is either a police officer or county sheriff, something like that. Now, with the information we've got so far on Outbreak, we do know that the epicenter of all this was a barn. And I believe the capsule came down, landed somewhere. Whoever the heck this guy is that owned the barn picked it up, took it back to his barn, real smart, and that became ground zero. Then we enter the barn and we've got a bunch of rusty vehicles. As far as I can see, there's nothing in here that has any relevance to Rainbow Six Siege. And whoever this police officer or sheriff is, he opens up the door, he starts coming in. Chinese torch around and this is when we start to actually see some cool little easter eggs and some really cool editing so as we the camera actually float our way through the scene you'll notice the actual sheriff here he actually takes a left hand turn and goes around the car to the left whereas we go straight through and we get a few little easter eggs in here which is really cool so first up we've actually got an operation health charm hanging from keys. We also have a little grey alien here and it is rumoured that aliens do have something to do with this mode. We're not entirely sure of what. It could be that just appear in cinematics or it could be that maybe there's maybe this uh, virus originates somewhere alien. Next up we continue through and we've got Chachanka's helmet. You can see it on the left there. It's also reflected perfectly in the wing mirrors as well. Like apparently the wing mirrors on this car are incredibly clean considering the dirt around them and that is definitely Chichanka's helmet. Now there's already fan theories that because this capsule is from Russia that actually Chichanka is the bad guy in this and it would make sense he apparently has turned up he's put his helmet over here and he's got here before anyone else so he could be the bad guy. Of course he's not. And then we continue flying through this barn and we see the capsule. Just before that though, we do get a flash of light on fan belt and there's a bunch of numbers and I think they look a lot like coordinates to me and maybe locations that we'll be fighting in in this mode. And then of course we get a really good look at the capsule. We can see that it says CCP on top and USSR underneath. So definitely Russian Cold War origin and people were saying it was a satellite. People even thought that it was going to be uh, Sputnik, but no, this definitely isn't because it's got glass, so it's definitely meant to house someone, so a cosmonaut, of course. And my theory here is that this was probably a failed experiment in space. They probably launched a dude up in this capsule, and maybe there was malfunction, and he ended up dying up there. Like, it just ended up in orbit, and he died and then, of course, something got into the capsule from the outside. It infected him in some way and brought him back to life, I would say, like a zombie. And this then came crashing back down to Earth, you know, many years later and starts this kind of zombie apocalypse and becomes the ground zero of this infection, which is spreading out and causing people to turn into zombies that we can now go kill. It's really cool. I love the little Easter eggs. I think it's a great trailer and I'm actually super hyped now to play this zombie mode and I can't wait. So we'll be back actually pretty soon with another video because they released a blog post that details all of the different stuff. So I'm going to make another video to go all over that. It's going to take me a little bit of a while because there's a lot of information. But anyway guys, tell me what you think in the comments below and I'll catch you next time.